Hey everyone, my name's Deligraph, also known as Deli, also known as Deli Dick 69 also known as... What? Uh, I, uh, okay, I've been told to move this along, so anyway, I'm emceeing the Q&A session for Straussen. So without further ado, let's get into it. Sir Tomshire asks, Are you a servant of the old gods sent to bring ruin and decadence to Azeroth? What do you have to say about the recent allegations that Retbull is made with sugar gathered by exploited Tolvir in Uldum? Are you secretly a Horde member? Well, I'm inclined not to comment about the recent allegations against Red Bull soft drinks. I can assure you that the sugar is gathered entirely cruelty-free, and that all the Tolvir in Uldum are paid handsomely for their work. Me? A servant of the old gods? Tomshire, please. He knows. He knows too much. Kill him. And I assure you, I am not a member of the Horde. Alliance all the way, baby. Hiramarad asks, What color socks do you wear? Well, usually I'll go for a regular white or a formal black, but I find that the pink sock really makes my eyes pop, you know? Tailcraft Legacy asks, How long have you been playing WoW? What was your first character race in class, and your first raiding experience? I only seriously got into playing WoW during Wrath of the Lich King. My first character was a Night Elf Warrior, and that just sealed the deal. I fell in love with the Warrior class right away. My first real raiding experience came from tanking 10 and 25 man Nax Ramus. Our guild at the time was going through weekly progression, and it was some of the most fun I've ever had playing this game. Mastermind Override asks, What made you fall in love and obsession with Tomshire? Mastermind, that's an excellent question. What does cause love and obsession with Tomshire? Is it the way that he tosses his hair when he laughs? The little glitter he gets in his eye when he thinks about his machinima? Is it his understated transmog that's not too much, not too little, but just right? Or is it because he tricked millions of kobolds into trading their valuable gold dust for his poorly made candles? I guess we'll never really know. All I know is that I hate him. And his team is garbage. Gabriel Perez asks, when are you doing the Rogue episode of Class Chats? I'm not really sure when I'm going to be doing the Rogue Class Chats. I let the audience choose which episode comes next. But based on the votes from last time, Rogues might be next, maybe the one after that. Thanks for your question. Big Steak asks, how do you like your steak done? Just kidding, how do you find inspiration for your machinimas? I've said it once and I'll say it again. I like my steak the way I like my Pokemon. Rare. As far as the inspiration is concerned, other than the ideas that just pop into my head, a lot of it comes from talking to people, whether it be my fiancé, my co-workers, or interacting with you guys in the community. Thanks a lot for the question, Steak. Banshee Queen Sylvanas asks, Do penguins have knees? Is the opposite of Middle Earth, Skyrim? What made you want to start making YouTube videos? Was WoW your first MMO? Cake or pie? How many of these do we get again? Do you believe in love after love? Oh wow, uh, who'd have thought the Banshee Queen would be so inquisitive? It's a very common misconception, but yes, penguins do in fact have knees. Now I'm not sure if Skyrim is the opposite of Middle-earth. They're both fantasy worlds, and I think they're their own separate entities. I don't really think I would call one the opposite of the other. I first started making videos because I wanted to combine all of the things that I love. I wanted to be a creator, I loved World of Warcraft, and I wanted to make people laugh. I remember sitting down and re-watching the final fight between Arthas and Blazer in Tales of the Past and thinking, I can do this, like, this is something that I can do. And a few short weeks later I released my first machinima, The Intruder, and I never looked back. WoW wasn't my first MMO, but it was the only MMO that I really took seriously when I played. I played a little bit of Lineage back in the day, uh, I played some Guild Wars as well, but nothing serious. I know a lot of pies that I don't like, and I really don't know a lot of cakes I don't like. So I'm gonna say cake. For the Banshee Queen, you can have as many as you want. Do I believe in life after love? You know, I can feel something inside me, and it's telling me that I just don't think that I'm strong enough, you know? Mopaz Machinima asks, if Straussen is a house, can I live inside of him? You know what, Mopaz, I ran this by my fiancé, and she's informed me that if I am a house, no, you can't live inside me. Sorry, man. House rules. Lord British Fell Sands asks, Will you be doing different videos like lore and more old gods and more machinima videos? 
You know, I don't really have any interest in making any other videos other than Machinima. There's a lot of channels that talk about the lore of World of Warcraft and I really just don't think that's something that I want to get into. I try to stay away from topics like the old gods, otherwise Timeshire is going to continue spreading rumors that I was sent by them. And yes, I'm going to be releasing more Machinima videos. I'm currently working on my new Class Chats Druid episode, as well as some other little side projects I got going for you guys. Thanks for your question, Lord. Dark Bloom asks, does that dress come in my size? This here is the mystical pink dress of comfort. So it comes in your size, my size, and everyone's size. Thanks for asking. Conj asks, why do I like looking at you in a dress? I'm confused. Conj, I'm gonna be honest with you. I think these are questions that you should bring up with your therapist, not with me. Although if you have to ask, it probably has something to do with the fact that my back just looks chiseled in this thing. I can't pronounce that name, but this guy asks, Why did you steal my face and mustache? Whoever you are, I assure you that this is my face and my heavy metal porn mustache. You must be mistaken. Grimlaugh asks, what would you name your first child? Grim, I've put a lot of thought into this, and I think I would name my first child Reginald Christofferson Face Puncher the Third. It's beautiful yet strong. Just like me. Lindreth asks, What's your favorite area of lore? Name three of your favorite in-game or lore characters. I think that my favorite area of lore is everything to do with Arthas's transformation into the Lich King. The story, the expansion, the whole thing was just epic. And I remember playing it in Warcraft 3, playing it in World of Warcraft, and it was incredible and I loved it. As far as my favorite characters are concerned, I've always liked Thrall ever since I read Lord of the Clans. I'm a big fan of Illidan Stormrage, and I like Ner'zhul. And finally, my question to you, Straussen. Is P stored in the balls? <sighs> no, Deli, it isn't. I would like to take this opportunity to thank everyone for all your questions, for helping me procrastinate from class chats, and to apologize for everyone who's patiently waiting for the release of the new Druid class chats. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and if you have time, check out Deli's latest machinima.